the theme or the mission statement of the Rose Kennedy Greenway project was to design a carousel around recognizable animals that you would see in the land, sea, and air of the New England environment. You should really go directly to the client that would be using it to consult them as to what they would like to see. Children, third and fourth grades, were asked to make drawings. And out of that came numerous drawings, which I used as inspiration. It has to be also fun and also has to be realistic. And it's very important to learn as much as you can about what the animal's like. So when we went to the New England Aquarium, that opportunity to actually touch the myrtle, the turtle, tactically, you suddenly realize what you're dealing with as a sculptor. You say, oh, would this look that way because the animal does this? or is in this environment, and how do you make that look? In the case of the seal, we were trying to make the tail rise up in the back to make an ADA accessible piece that supports somebody's back. My problem was, can a seal actually do that? I was fortunate enough again to go to the aquarium and visited the harbor seals, which is a gas to say the least. We do have a number of pictures of them pretty close to that. So it gives you confidence that whatever you designed is close enough to the, the reality. One of the characters that was recommended by the children was some kind of a sea monster. Well, the mission statement for the carousel was that all the animals would be recognizable animals that you possibly see in the New England environment. So I started investigating the legend of the sea monster of Gloucester. It kept popping up that experts relate the existence of the oarfish as being possibly the beginning of the legend. So I just adhered to that immediately and said, OK, I should take him as inspiration. The oarfish is not a monster necessarily. It's a, it's this delightful looking thing. Carousel art is unique for several reasons. One of the things, it has to be utilitarian. It has to be rideable, it has to be mountable. Also, it's not your individual statement. It is a collaborative effort. Carousel is nothing if it doesn't have color. Much of this Boston carousel was designed around Bill Rogers' ability. Billy and I worked for a number of years now, and he's a master painter. And the evidence are certainly there in Boston of what his capabilities are. When I was in high school, my art teacher, his first opening statement was that you need to look around you and look at everything that is man-made and realize that somebody at some point designed it, produced it. That person had to envision it, create it, and that is an art form. And your talent can be and should be applied to almost anything. And that's always been my approach.
If you did a public sculpture and you set it someplace, maybe on an occasion during when it was mounted to something, you might have some reaction to it. Whereas with a carousel, it's obvious that people are enjoying this. I mean, everybody turns into a seven-year-old and it's just a delight. When you get through with a project, it's very difficult to see it without being constantly bombarded with thoughts of things that didn't work out the way you hoped it would. But this particular project came as about as close as you possibly could to what the vision was. I don't think that's really sunk in yet, but <laughs> it's getting there. <laughs> 